field study. What they're talking about here in the field is the green coverage percentage on both the fall and the spring. It was only at the very, very beginning that the uh, the treated the treated ozonated and oxygenated had a little bit a, dar a darker or the green coverage percentage was a little bit higher in the spring. And then the rest of it was non-significant. Now, it, I've said this before. If you're if you're selling nanobubbles and you're selling oxygenated water and ozonated water, do you think they're going to show all of these non-significant data points on their marketing sheet? Or do you think they're going to pull this one date out or this one date out right here and put that on a bar chart? They're going to cherry pick that thing out right there and they're going to say, oh, look, we saw a 10 or 15% increase in green coverage. Yes, there was a difference in this first day or two. But the other 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 rating dates, there was nothing. Zilch. Okay, this is why it's important to publish these data. We, it helps everybody contextualize it. We don't have to look at these, these marketing propaganda pieces that they put out. That you go, well, well it looks kind of convincing. Because you're not, they're not, you're not thinking necessarily, well, what else happened? You're just looking at something on, that the salesman hands you and going, oh, well, that looks convincing. It's from University of Georgia. And if they did that on a marketing sheet, they wouldn't be fibbing. They'd be telling the truth. They're just not telling the entire story. Okay, I'm not saying this company would do that, but I'm saying companies do do that. And um, we have to, unfortunately, go to the literature, go to the call Georgia or call a specialist and ask them, well, what actually happened here? And let them tell you the entire story. And when you see the entire story, you're like, oh, okay. You know, one or two blips on a radar doesn't convince me to spend tens of thousands of dollars to put in a machine to give me ozonated or oxygenated water. It's insanity.